Today, more than 16,000 runners hit the pavement for the Gate River Run. The weather had a big impact on today's race. Jamal St. Cyr was at the start and finish line this morning and has more from the runners. Temperatures in the mid 70s may not sound like serious heat for Florida, but it was enough to set a record for the hottest river run ever. That's according to News for Jack's chief meteorologist, John Gahn. And those temperatures in the 70s were also enough to cause problems for the runners out on the course. This is one of the hotter river run temperatures. Did the temperatures bother you at all? Definitely. You know, it's just that when you're fit, you can run in any weather. Both Sisson and Bohr are Olympians, so if the heat bothered them, it's safe to say it bothered everyone else out running the river run today. Heat was definitely a factor today. I didn't run as fast as I hoped, um, but I did PR. This is the most hot river run I've ever run. It's not an official barometer, but this is a lot of humidity. Um, so really it was just a strategy of if, if you just kept moving at a steady pace, late you were passing so many. I mean, it was just, it was, it was a slog fest out there. One of the big goals for many runners is to finish in time to get a hat. Now, these are good-looking hats, but these hats mean something. They mean you finished in the top 10% of runners. This year, it took a little while longer before all of those hats were gone. The men's hats lasted three minutes longer today than they did last year, while the women's hats lasted five minutes longer than they did a year ago. In Jacksonville, Jamal St. Cyr, Channel 4, The Local Station.